Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Alpine Rally of East Gippsland. What a wonderful place this is. Just look at the number of cars here. 105 starters, over 220 kilometres this weekend. It's going to be a cracking rally with some cracking cars and some cracking drivers. Nathan Quinn. Fantastic to see you. What a rally this is. Yeah, yeah, I've been fortunate to do it once in the rain. This year we've got fires. How about that? So thoughts are with the guys in the uh, in the fires, but looking forward to it. And it's great to see someone like you. Yeah, do you know, it's great to be here. It's one that's been on the radar for me for a long time. One that I've always wanted to do. The oldest rally in Australia. Almost as old as me. Mate, I think many things here is probably as old as you, if not older. It's pretty rare for you to be at a rally with older things than you, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to go from there. Uh, this, though, is not older than me. Tell me about your car. Well, it's a 1970 Mazda RX-2. It's one of the few proper classics here today. None of these cheat and dats and bloody fuel-injected BMWs, you name it. It's true blue rotary from the 70s. And as you do, Nathan Quinn, competing with these fantastic cars, you're hitting well above your weight, leading the East Coast Classic Series. You're going to take the title this weekend. Oh, look, certainly we'll try. We, we jumped into the series just like we did uh, a few series ago, and we do one or two events, and then we start going all right. So we're like, shit, we might finish this off, hey? So it's worked out pretty well, but it's a long event too. Like, it'll be a tough event. And obviously, you've got the added pressure. You want to beat um, hacks like Jack Monkhouse and, uh, and Ben Parker, but uh, you, you've also got to balance up the championship for us and everyone here can score points and take points away from you so I think it'll be really interesting and uh, I've just been hanging out I got I got rally blue balls I just want to get in the forest now, hey Monkhouse has got his own fan club here where is the Freddie Mercury Appreciation Society oh mate they've already taken their place in the forest and they're obviously rehearsing as well for later on tonight when the when the party's on between between stages so don't be too worried there's a fan club you and me just need to decide on a little playlist that we've got to sing later on though <laughs> oh certainly karaoke Harry, okay, listen, talking about Jack Monkhouse, let's head across here and find him. Where he is? Where, where is he even? Can't get my words out. Uh, there he is. Look, he's a very handsome man, isn't he? Jack, uh, what's this all about? These people, what are they? Who are they? Where have they come from? I think they're lunatics from Queensland, mate. Uh, I don't know. I'm guessing monks, obviously, but uh, I definitely didn't book them. I have heard things about people from Queensland. Yeah, they're a bit sketchy for sure. <laughs> These boys look a bit odd. Jack, listen, uh, it's the last round of the classic, the East Coast Classic Series. Great battle this year between yourself and Nathan. Yeah, for sure. Looking forward to getting it back out in the forest. Like, he put me by one second in the last rally, so, yeah, I've got to get him by, by about 100 more, I reckon. You know, it's one of the classic rallies in the world, this one. Tell me what's so special about it. I think the fact it's such big kilometres and it's blind, like you're just guessing where you're driving pretty much for, for two days. So it's 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 quite an adrenaline rush. You, sometimes you have more moments per stage than a, a whole event in an ARC because they're pace noted. So yeah, the adrenaline the blind thing, and, and I guess it's equally as frustrating when you're not really used to driving blind rallies when you're used to the notes. So it's, it's a big challenge for us guys that are used to doing the pace noted events. It's a massive challenge. Tell me a wee bit about your car though. We've had a look at Quinny's car. Tell me a bit about your car. So the best thing about this over Quinny's is obviously it has an engine with pistons and it has an M-Tron ECU so it's fuel injected so it's a beautiful car to drive and um, it's obviously a Datsun which is much better than a Mazda so there's not much more to it really. We both run the same awesome Pirelli tyres and yeah the cars are very similar but um, hopefully mine's faster this weekend. Well as you can see over a hundred of the finest historic rally cars in Australia taking to the start of the Alpine Rally of East Gippsland and as we've heard some tremendous competition at the top of the field. This car here, Ben Barker's car, well, previous winner of this event. We have one stage this afternoon to decide the seeding for the rally. It's going to be a cracker.